WAN 2.2 includes four model variants, 5B text to video, 5B image to video, 14B text to video, and 14B image to video. To run WAN 2.2, you need Comfy UI. If you don't have it installed, there's a link to a Comfy UI installation tutorial in the description, along with all other links needed for this video. You'll need a few files to get started. First, download the text encoder. UMT5, XXL, FP8, E4M, 3FN, scaled, dot safe tensors, and place it in the Comfy UI, Models, Text Encoders folder. Then download the VAE file for the 5B model. WAN 2.2, VAE.safe tensors, and place it in the Comfy UI, Models, VAE folder. To run the 5B model, the last file you need is the 5B diffusion model, WAN 2.2, TI2V, 5B, FP16, dot safe tensors. Place it in the Comfy UI, Models, Diffusion Models folder. Make sure you update Comfy UI to the latest version. This step is crucial. WAN 2.2 will not run without it. After that, you're ready to run the 5B model. Download the 5B text-to-video workflow from the description and run it in Comfy UI. This workflow generates video from text prompts. I'll speed up the generation. On my RTX 3090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, it took two minutes and 36 seconds to generate this video. Next, I'll run image to video generation using the 5B model. I'll speed up the footage again and do the same for the next generations. This generation took 2 minutes and 42 seconds. To run the 14B model, download one 2.1 vae.safetensors file and place it in the Comfy UI models. VAE folder. Also, for the 14B model, you need to download four FP8 scale diffusion models, one high noise and one low noise for text to video, and one high noise and one low noise for image to video. Place all four in the Comfy UI models. Diffusion Models folder. After that, you're ready to run the 14B model. Download the 14B text to video workflow from the description and run it. This generation took 56 minutes and 11 seconds. Next, run the 14B image to video workflow from the description. This generation took 52 minutes and 32 seconds. Now that you've made it to the end, consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this tutorial with others who might find it useful. It helps more than you think and lets me keep making tutorials like this.